Hello everyone, welcome to Community Connections and I'm Sherry Vandenacker and I am so thrilled to be here today with our new town manager, Fidel Maltez. Welcome to Reading. Thank you Sherry, appreciate Thank it. Yeah. Thank you. So we're delighted to have the chance to get to know you a little bit. Why don't you tell us how you got from your home in Nicaragua to Reading? It's quite a long journey and an interesting one. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me tonight. Uh, uh, it's an honor to be here, both in in, in Reading and, and, and speaking with you. I, I've heard uh, uh, a lot of stories in Reading about you and, uh, and, and the work that you do, and, <laughs> and, and and every time that I mention your name, it, it, it's followed with with, uh, uh, with with some kind of compliment. So, so I, uh, it, it's an honor to uh, be with you tonight. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so my story. Uh, uh, um, I won't bore everyone with the details because that can get long, but uh, uh, I was born in, in, in Managua, Nicaragua uh, in, in 1983. Uh, um, and my, my, uh, my mother and, and, uh, and siblings and I uh, uh, migrated to, to Miami, Florida uh, in, mm -hmm. in 1990. So, so I came to, uh, uh, to the U.S. At, at seven years old. Uh, I did a, a elementary school and middle school in, in, uh, uh, in Miami and then uh, uh, I, I went back uh, uh, to Nicaragua and did high school with with my father who who, who was living in, in Nicaragua um, and uh, uh, after doing uh, uh, four years of college I was oh, sorry uh, four years of high school um, my my high school uh, 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 counselor went to school in, in Bucknell University, mm -hmm. which is in uh, in the Lehigh Valley area mm -hmm. of Pennsylvania, and uh, um, he encouraged me to uh, to look into those those universities. So I, I applied, and, and I was lucky to 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 get a full ride from Lafayette College, uh, which is in in eastern Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm after college. I I, uh, I joined a company called. St. House Corporation, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and with them, they're uh, a, a Fortune 500 company. Uh, I had a wonderful career. I, I, I got to travel a lot and, and relocate a, a, a lot. Uh, and one of the roles was was in China, so so I spent uh, three years of my my uh, uh, professional life with, with my wife in in, in China, and, and it was a an incredible incredible. Opportunity. It it really uh, uh, gave me a chance to to see the world, you know, and, right. and, and step into uh, a different culture, right? I mean, uh, uh, so uh, after Sintas Corporation, I I, uh, uh, I joined the the city of Chelsea, uh, and, and I was with uh, uh, with Chelsea uh, uh, for five years, uh, and the the last position that I held was was commissioner. Public Works, uh, and, and you know, the, uh, probably in the last few months, I I was looking for another opportunity. Uh, um, our children are, are getting bigger, you know, and 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 I, I wanted to take the the next step, so I I applied to the 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 uh, position of town manager in Reading, and I mean, mm -hmm. and, and, and and really has been a joy to just be be part of this this process. It was a. Uh, um, it was an exciting process. Uh, uh, so far, everyone that I've met had, has been incredibly welcoming uh, uh, and, and really excited about you know the the future of Reading. There's a lot of things things that have, uh, have been cooking for a while, and 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 I uh, um, I really do feel that it's going to be a bright time for Reading. I stutter, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, um, I began stuttering when I was five years old, you know, and, and it's something that I lived with my my entire life. Uh, uh, um, I've done a lot of uh, speech therapy, uh, and, and I've given a lot of uh, large um, presentations, both in, in Chelsea and in Asentas. And I, I usually like to say that that uh, uh, you know I'm very open to speaking about stuttering. You know, it, it uh, um, it's never held me back, but I think it's right. it, it's something that I'm, I'm I'm trying to just you know uh, to normalize. Okay, it's not just that I made you nervous. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm glad. No, but I really thank you for being open too yeah. and for sharing because um, 
yeah, I think that it's a wonderful role modeling Thank you. for our kids. Thank you. So you didn't dream as a child of growing up and becoming a municipal employee, it sounds like. So how did you get into um, municipal work, which is work I adore, frankly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, um, I guess mm -hmm. I, I uh, um, uh, my father, uh, uh, in particular, uh, uh, he he is a a civil engineer, but he he chose to be a, yeah. a professor. So so he uh, uh, you know he um, he always uh, uh, instilled in us the the idea of giving back. You mm -hmm. know of helping the public uh, of of helping the the uh, uh, um, you know the, our fellow neighbors and residents. And, and uh, you know the the first. Uh, uh, 13 years of my career were, were exciting and wonderful, but uh, uh, I'm always lacking, you know, the the, uh, um, the ability to uh, uh, really help people, you know, mm -hmm. and, and in Chelsea, uh, it, uh, uh, particularly in the position of, of public works, I, I, I was able to make uh, uh, real improvements, you know, yes. whether it was renovating a park or or installing a bench, you know, in a street, or, or you know, or, or doing an infrastructure project, right? I mean, it, it, uh, uh, um, it was work that was really rewarding, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it, 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 it was really improving uh, 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 the lives of residents. So, so uh, just in Reading, it, it's going to be exactly that. You know, it's going to be uh, uh, me uh, uh, coming and learning from the residents about uh, their priorities. Obviously. Uh, uh, um, I, I am hired by the select board, so I look forward to you know uh, uh, working with them to 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 develop a plan and an agenda to uh, uh, really help Reading move forward. So, do you mind if I just ask this? It's one of my own questions. It fascinates me. What do you see as some of the fundamental differences between public sector work and private sector work? Because I think that people often say the school should be run like a business or the mm -hmm. town should be run like a business. And in some ways, of course, that's true. And in other ways, it isn't. So having had a foot in both worlds, what would you want people to understand about the differences between them? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think the uh, um, the prime difference is uh, uh, profit mm -hmm. versus nonprofit, right? I mean, and, and you know, the, the uh, uh, in the private world, you know, sometimes you you make cuts, you mm -hmm. know, uh, and, and make really hard hard decisions, you know, uh, uh, at the at the expense of of, of the long term benefit of, of the organization. Right. Uh, 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 because you're driven by, by profit. However, uh, uh, um, after spending uh, uh, 13 years in, in, in a wonderful organization that that is uh, 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 you know it, it's, it's long-term minded, uh, um, I think that that there are things um, from the private world that that uh, uh, you know uh, can really help us. You know, whether it's you know a uh, 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 really fundamental the business terms like. Continuous improvement, uh -huh. you know. So, so, so in the business world, you know, it, it's it's been uh, uh, researched extensively, you know, from uh, 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 from the process of lean in Toyota, you know, to to uh, uh, to Six Sigma, which is a a process improvement uh, uh, ideology. Mm -hmm. um, I think those those things, those uh, uh, processes. Uh, can help anyone, whether you're 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 in a, in 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 the private sector or the public uh, the public sector. That that's interesting to me. That is because I like that you can bring positives from the business world to the public sector. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's great. So um, you said you're excited about being here, and um, we hope that Bob Lalacher has has a wonderful retirement. We're so grateful to him for his service to the town. What are some of the strengths you feel you're inheriting that you're excited about? Yeah, I mean, so uh, 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 in the process of, of interviewing, I. I was absolutely wowed uh, mm -hmm. by Reading. I mean, Bob, Bob is a is a leader both in Reading and in the region. I mean, mm -hmm. he, he is he is incredibly respected. You know, he uh, uh, he has led uh, uh, an incredible uh, 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 you know a period, mm -hmm. an unprecedented uh, period with the 
the COVID-19 pandemic. And, and I mean, right. and, and, and it was a tough time for uh, uh, for everyone, but but uh, um, particularly uh, that person at the helm. You know, it's it, uh, 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 to go through you know to to uh, uh, through 2020 and 2021. You know, and, and, and come out in many ways. Uh, uh, in a great position, it just just shows uh, um, how incredible of a leader Bob is. Also, uh, uh, um, I am very fortunate that he has been very thoughtful, you mm -hmm. know, and, and mindful of, of the transition. I mean, he. he uh, uh, um, I, I've been speaking with uh, Bob now for a month and a half. You know, he, uh, uh, we've met uh, uh, about the, the budget, uh, about staff, about you know, uh, 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 about the variety of things that that are are involved in management. I mean, uh, and, and he has been uh, incredibly supportive. You know, as a, as a leader as, 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 and as a friend as well. Um, so, okay. so I think the, the uh, uh, what I inherit from Bob, you know, one is an amazing staff. You know, the the. Uh, 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 Reading has staff that is is uh, uh, is incredibly qualified mm -hmm. uh, and, and is very tenured, right? Mm -hmm. So, so uh, uh, um, you know, it, it, uh, any leader uh, uh, needs to uh, lean on the support staff, right. and, and, and I am very lucky uh, uh, to be stepping into into an organization with with uh, with leaders in in the field, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's in fire. Public works or accounting, you know, it, it, it's it's everywhere or development for that matter. So that I think that's wonderful. That uh, another thing that that is very clear is is the strong financial position that Reading is in, mm -hmm. right? So so uh, 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 finances are are very healthy, are, are strong in, in uh, the the free cash position that Reading is in is is, is amazing and, and, and it's really. The envy of many towns around Reading, mm. um, so so it's it's a uh, uh, it is definitely a great and wonderful uh, uh, position to step into. So staff, I love hearing that about staff because uh, we hear that people aren't flocking to public sector mm. jobs, mm. and we're so fortunate that we have you coming yeah. and that we have the staff that we do in Reading and that they've stuck around. And then, yes, our uh, town is very invested in its um, healthy financial position, and you know that our residents have been so supportive by Absolutely. passing an override sure. when things were lean, and right. so that's that's great to hear, too. What do you see as some of the challenges coming up that you're going to be dealing with? Yes. Yeah, so, so, uh, my personal challenges, I, I think, uh, uh, you know, it is what I'm trying to do in in, in the first 90 days of of, of my role uh, mm -hmm. as, as a newcomer to a community, you know, as a newcomer uh, uh, into town hall, into events, you know, in, 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 into the extensive amount of, of committees. Uh, uh, my mm -hmm. uh, uh, my primary goal is to be visible and accessible, you know, okay. so so to, to uh, uh, Get myself out in, into the community, you know, to to have coffees and, and lunches with 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 the groups and the committees, you know, and, and, and to be be uh, uh, really someone who who uh, uh, who makes town hall accessible, right? Mm -hmm. So so if uh, uh, um, I'm sharing my my personal cell phone number with anyone that that uh, that uh, uh, you know I have coffee with, I mean, uh, 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 and, and I'm taking it up up everyone. Up, on the chance to have coffee or or, or lunch or or sit down, I mean, because because uh, uh, I think at, at the end of the day, uh, I am here to serve the residents of, of Reading, and, and and I would love to hear you know what the priorities are or, or or how government is doing or what can be tweaked or improved. So the, it, yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, um, that is the primary challenge that I'm going to have in in the first 90 days. Do I feel? Do I hear um, some coffee hours or some open office hours uh, coming up soon? Absolutely, no, no, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 and, and now, uh, uh, luckily, we're, we we are uh, um, uh, uh, getting over the hump. Hopefully, with, that's right. With COVID nineteen uh, uh, and the Omicron uh, uh, variant, so so actually, uh, um, I reached out to John Fudo, who who runs the YMCA, mm -hmm. and, and he recommended that to to you know have. Have a coffee hour at the YMCA in the in the morning. Just sit down, you know, and, and, and you know. I look forward to doing the same thing here, being RCTV, you know, and and just being again, being visible, 
and available to all residents. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you've already uh, been over at the Y. My family are members, and we think they do a great job over I there. I agree, 100%. Yeah. So um, what do you see as challenges that Reading is going to be facing? What should we all be prepared for in the community about what's coming up next? Yeah, it, it, so, so um, um, I wouldn't call them challenges. I would call mm -hmm. them opportunities. Right? right. I mean, because the the uh, uh, what's what's coming up it is incredibly exciting. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, it's very exciting. I think the the uh, um, you know one of the biggest conversations is going to be the 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 uh, um, the construction of the Killam School, right? So, so yes. it is one that <laughs> that has been uh, uh, it is my understanding has been. Uh, uh, um, on docket for a long time, you know. If if, uh, uh, um, if hopefully the the MSBA uh, allows us to to uh, get into the funding program, uh, uh, it will be a huge opportunity for uh, 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 for Reading to 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 replace, you know, or, or uh, uh, the 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 last school that hasn't been touched. Right, and MSBA is the Massachusetts School Building Authority, is that right? That's correct, that's right. And so they're a group that um, will help communities. They don't fund the whole school, right. but um, they make an ex immensely Absolutely. expensive project affordable. Absolutely. Right, and, yeah. but we have to apply, and there's plenty of competition for uh, school upgrades, yeah, yeah. Um, and we're obviously in Massachusetts. We have a lot of old facilities around, but yeah. it, it will be exciting when we're ready to do that. And I agree with you. Um, so, so much of your role is working cooperatively with the superintendent, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. So, have you met with Tom Milichewski yet? And yeah, mm -hmm. no, I've been with him. Uh, 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 you know. Uh, a handful of times, he mm -hmm. he's an incredible leader, and in some ways, I, I am a, a, um, I am glad that he he's also in in, in his transition in, into Reading, you know, right. and he's a, 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 my understanding is that in his short time here, he's a, a really impressed uh, both the students and the staff and the residents of of, of Reading, mm -hmm. and I mean I, I, his his uh, enthusiasm, his, his qualifications are. Are obvious and, and, mm -hmm. and visible. I mean, he he. Uh, uh, um, uh, so the first time that I met him was was in the uh, application process, uh, 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 and and he was extremely helpful. Uh, um, he's given me a, a tour of the how of the high school now twice. Um, I had the opportunity to meet the. Uh, uh, the school department staff already. Yeah. I mean, I, I, uh, I in Chelsea uh, uh, the. Uh, uh, I learned that the the relationship uh, uh, between both leaders is critical. You know, and, right. and, and it is you know it, the uh, uh, to have a united front is is absolutely uh, 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 critical. Uh, and and also you know the the uh, uh, um, I firmly believe that that education uh, it, it is is the most important thing that uh, we can be investing on, uh, and it has a. a a wide impact on all the community, both on on, on property values, on, on, on the health, the, yes. on the healthiness of the community. You know, on, on who chooses to uh, relocate here. You know, so 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 the the uh, uh, having a wonderful and strong uh, uh, school department is something we are all invested in. Yeah, I. When the override was coming up, you know, we talked a lot about the importance of us all staying invested in the schools because we want to make sure our EMTs are Absolutely. well qualified, right. our firefighters, our police, our bankers, our lawyers, Absolutely. and the school it is really preparing um, our town to improve in so yeah. many ways. Absolutely. So, um, so having coming from public works, what do you want us to know about police and fire in DPW? You know, the the, the uh, um, those three functions are are, are probably what uh, most residents have the most contact with. Right. right? So, so it's the the the. Uh, um, the streets that you drive on, the parks that you yeah. visit, you know, the signs or or the street lights that, that you use. So, so uh, uh, um, public works it, it, it is is clearly uh, 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 something important mm -hmm. in every community, uh, uh, it, and it is something that I think uh, uh, really brings value to to uh, uh, to a community. Uh, uh, I am so incredibly 
blessed to come into a, a, a town that uh, uh, has very strong leaders in, in public work. So uh, 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 Jane and, and Ryan, who, who, mm -hmm. who uh, and uh, Chris Cole as well, uh, uh, have an incredible team, uh, uh, and, and they are really, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, impressive leaders in the region. They're they're respected in in their peer communities, uh, and and, and um, it's very obvious. As you drive around Reading, the the, the thoughtfulness uh, and planning that goes into into public works uh, with with fire. I mean, uh, uh, um, I think that that uh, uh, fire uh, department in Reading is, is one of the best in the, in the region. The uh, uh, the fact that that uh, you know the uh, we handle our own ambulance services is incredible. Right. I mean, it, it's an incredible benefit. Uh, to the community and the the fire chief uh, uh, has shared stories of of how that has that has really saved lives. You know, mm -hmm. where where uh, uh, having a, a qualified uh, 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 EMS person who who, who uh, shows up to a scene and, and, and can intervene, you know, uh, is incredible. You know, and, and has really uh, uh, saved lives. You know. Uh, uh, Chief Clark. I mean, he, he uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 um, from day one, he he gave me a tour of, of the community. You know, he he's welcomed me in. I I met the entire staff of, of, in, in, in uh, the police department. Uh, uh, he's from Reading. You know, he, he, he lives right. here. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, his children are in the school system. The, the school system. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it is very clear that he's invested. You know, in 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 the growth and and, and safety of Reading. I think a lot of people are very excited too that we are going to be having mental health yeah. uh, involved with the police Absolutely. and that we've really I think had quite a model sure. of um, proactive police work and through the coalition for prevention and support um, and its role with the police department as well so I'm excited about seeing the next steps that partnerships going to take also absolutely I, mm -hmm. I agree it's wonderful all right, all right. what uh, what about elders what about our elders yeah so that that is a um, that is another critical conversation mm -hmm. that is happening right now so so uh, 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 you know through our uh, planning department uh, uh, there's a committee that I'm sure you've, you've heard of. Is it, it's called a uh, recalc. So it's a uh, 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 ready for a living center, uh, and, and and it's essentially you know the the, the um, uh, really looking at our needs. You know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, what is it that we need to to invest on? Is it is it a, a, a a, a remodel of, of the Pleasant Street Center? Uh, is it an expansion of that building? Is, is it moving somewhere else? You know, mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, earlier this afternoon, I, I, I participated in in the, in the Valentine's Day drive-through uh, at, at the Senior Center, and, and it was wonderful. You know, to, to see the, see the faces of, of the seniors. You know, mm -hmm. who who. Uh, 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 um, who are coming to the center? You know, I, I learned that uh, uh, that Reading has, has seven thousand seniors. You know, uh, so so it's a it, it's a very active population. You know, and and, and, and it's a population that I think it is very important for us to to be mindful of as as we move forward. Yeah, it's going to be seven thousand and one pretty soon. I'm getting there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> it doesn't seem possible yeah. to me, but it is. Yeah. Um, so you've been on the job. I think you had uh, a break of maybe seventy-two hours sure, between sure. Chelsea yeah, 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 and yeah, here, absolutely. and you're already so up to speed with so much. So yeah. thank you for letting me throw all these thank things you. at no, you. But thank you. Um, how about um, the Chamber of Commerce and our business sector? What message would you like to give them? You know the. the uh, um, um, on day one, you know, I I, I made it a point to uh, walk. Which to, was yesterday. To, sure. Well, I mean, I, I guess on, on <laughs> minus T one, I, I guess I'll say what what. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I I I, uh, um, I walked around our, our downtown, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's really really an exciting downtown. You know, it, it, there's a lot of shops, a lot of uh, uh, both coffee shops, the, the bookstore, mm -hmm. you know, the the different restaurants. I mean, it, it's a uh, uh, um, it is very vibrant, you know, mm -hmm. and. and and what I uh, uh, what I tell 
tell everyone is, is that it, you want a downtown where, where residents it, and visitors, you know, want to come, it, 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 and it's to uh, create foot uh, foot traffic right. and, and um, generate revenue uh, for the businesses, but also uh, 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 having uh, small businesses that are are invested in right. in the community you know it, it's yes. critical it's critical they they uh, uh you know in many ways are 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 who uh are providing jobs to our our, our, our you know our youths our, and our seniors right i mean a, 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 and they are uh providing services that are critical right. you know to 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 all of us uh so so the uh, uh i am 100 percent invested in mm -hmm. in, in, in uh, uh, uh just keeping growing our downtown at, and our small businesses. So, if, if there is anything that I can do to help, or 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 if I can make you know a, a, a town hall a little bit, bit more friendly, you know, mm -hmm. just uh, uh, do not hesitate to to reach out to me. Great. How about the arts? Um, I we're excited here in Reading. We have quite a few arts organizations, and we are always talking about how do we get people more invested in them, more involved in them as our lives get busier. So have you any thoughts yet um, about the arts, or is that one we're going to wait on and talk about in a few months? No, no, no. That's, that's uh, <laughs> uh, uh, again, I, mean, I, I think uh, uh, for me, is, is uh, uh, the arts uh, is, is also tied to, to, uh, 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 to the downtown. So, so mm -hmm. the, the, you know, uh, when I made my, my first trip to, to, to Reading, uh, uh, I saw the the electrical boxes, right? I mean, it, yes. it, it just popped out, you know, it was, it, it, and it was a a thing of beauty, you know, and, and really showed, you know, that that uh, uh, that Reading is a community that that is is invested in in, in making uh, 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 its community beautiful, right? You know, so and, and also, you know, with with programming, so so mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know. Uh, whether it's porch fest, you right, know, right, or, or uh, uh, that's been the, fun. The, yeah, exactly. It, it, it's a uh, uh, for me the, the arts. It, it's a way to, to again just uh, uh, create a, a sense of community, mm -hmm. you know. It, and, and as we emerge from the uh, uh, COVID nineteen uh, pandemic, I think I think uh, uh, residents and visitors, you know, are are looking for for opportunities, you know, to to uh, uh, to enjoy life again, right. to, to uh, uh, to interact with other humans, you know, and and, and to really see uh, see beauty. So so I absolutely. I mean, I, what what's beautiful is, is that the 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 uh, uh, the the downtown businesses. I, I think I, I think see this as an opportunity as well. Mm -hmm. You know, to to, to uh, introduce the arts to the, to do creative programming. You know, to to uh, 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 to bring people to the downtown. Yeah, the schools have some great arts programs absolutely, too. So absolutely. that seems always to me like another great opportunity to bring sectors of the town absolutely. together. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Do you want to tell us anything else about your family? Sure. So, so I, I have mm -hmm. a, uh, you know, I, I think my my two girls are are my my pride and joy. Uh, uh, I've got a, an eight year old and a four year old. Uh, who, oh, uh, great ages. Second grader and, and pre K, but uh, uh, they are growing so fast. I mean it. it the the saying is really true that you you uh, blink an eye and they're you know they're they're grown so uh, uh, um, you know I, I I try to do my best at, at at engaging them you know at work so so I I'll be bringing them to events I'll be bringing them to you know to to uh, to my office in town hall you know and, and, and just making them a, a a part of our community as well. That's great. We yeah. can't have too many kids That's around. Right. That's right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Community Connections, and it's just been such a pleasure to be here again with you. Thank you so much, Fidel. Thank you. Thank you for having me.